Let's talk about histamine intolerance because some people that go on the carnivore diet have to deal with that curveball. Welcome back to my channel. I am Sylvia and I'm a carnivore diet coach. Histamines are molecules that are being secreted or released during certain physiological processes, namely um, allergic reactions or maybe if you get caught or you got some other wounds, uh, they cause a dilation of capillaries or contractions of uh, smooth muscles. Have you ever had an allergic reaction or saw someone that did the itching of the eyes, swelling of the eyelids, sometimes lips, um, itching or breakouts on the skin? Uh, some people throw up, that would be me. When I was a kid, I was allergic to apricots and maybe I am still uh, allergic to them, but I just don't eat them, so I don't know. But as soon as I uh, ate them, my lips would swell up, my throat would get tight and swollen, and then maybe a few minutes later, I would violently throw up. So yeah, that was my food allergy. Histamine is also a, a neurotransmitter present in the gut and communicates with your brain. And there are histamines present in different types of foods, uh, most commonly in fermented or aged foods, so things like fermented kefir, yogurt, aged cheeses, and meats. And so you have all kinds of issues and you think, if I go on the carnivore diet, that will take care of it, and then you find out that you have histamine reaction to some of the meats. Some people are actually allergic to uh, bone broth, and that makes sense because bones tend to be aged as well, so you make them into the bone broth and then you start drinking it and then you find out that you're histamine intolerant thanks to bone broth. Now the question gets to be, why do some people develop histamine intolerance when going on the carnivore diet. It's supposed to be a fix-it-all diet that resolves all of your problems, right? Well, let me tell you how you can develop histamine intolerance. When coaching people, I notice that those that have uh, serious disturbances to their gut microbiome and or deal with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, oftentimes deal with histamine intolerance as well. Now, why would that be? Those uh, bacteria and microbes that overgrow, causing the good bacteria to be in deficiency and the unwanted bacteria to overgrow, those critters produce their own histamine that looks like our histamine and causes our body to react to it. And so then your body reacts to everything that has histamine in it, your own or the ones from the food as well. Conventional approach to dealing with uh, bacterial overgrowth is to go after it with uh, antibiotics, whether they're natural or conventional, but it is the same concept. Let's kill those bacteria. And it may work for some time, but as soon as you remove the antibiotics, those bacteria tend to um, come back because you have unhealthy environment in your gut. Now, you're probably wondering if carnivore diet can help, and the answer is yes. If histamine intolerance is your issue, going into carnivore diet, you have to get meat that isn't aged. Typically, bison is the number one go-to meat that does not have histamine. And next step you can do is to befriend a butcher that will give you fresh meat that isn't aged. Typically, regular beef is aged two weeks. And maybe you can even get um, uh, bones from a newly uh, slaughtered animal and even if you make the bone broth you will be okay drinking it. You definitely have to avoid uh, aged cheeses, kefirs, shellfish and all kind of cold cuts. The good news is that most people after the initial stage and it could be from weeks to couple months they improve their uh, gut microbiome to the point that those microbes uh, regulate themselves and you have a healthy gut environment and then you can expand what you are able to eat on the carnivore diet and you don't have to worry about histamine intolerance it oftentimes just takes care of itself. Since the GAPS diet and the Western Price Foundation talks a lot about a modern gut that is really depleted from diversity of the uh, microbes. Uh, oftentimes people will ask me, are these diets appropriate for increasing uh, gut uh, microbiome diversity? And here's the catch-22. In principle, yes, because fermented foods, things like kefir or sauerkraut, do help uh, maintain or improve the gut microbiome diversity. 
but if you are starting at the level of histamine intolerance you're gonna have a really rough ride if you have some fermented yogurt or kefir so if histamine intolerance is your issue i would definitely start your diet with meats that aren't aged salt some fat water and that's that for a few weeks or a couple months and just observe how you are doing i know it can get boring so when you are ready to introduce or expand your carnivore diet do a one type of food at the time maybe it's an egg maybe it's a regular beef and then just see how your body reacts just be sure that you have a clarity of what food you've eaten so just make sure that it's one food once a week and then just note or uh, write in your diary what your body has done with it chances are your histamine intolerance improved because your gut microbiome started changing one other thing worth noting when it comes to histamine intolerance is how strong is your stomach acid a lot of bacteria that gets into your small intestine and starts multiplying is due to weak stomach acid that didn't kill that bacteria in the stomach and therefore they got into your small intestine now they're multiplying and causing histamine intolerance so some people are able to help the stomach acid production by t taking uh, betaine uh, HCL or HCL with pepsin now work it out if this is a right thing for you some people benefit from it greatly some people cannot tolerate it at all so it is for you to try and see if this is something that you can help yourself with all right so this is my take on histamine intolerance i would not focus on battling of histamine but rather optimizing of your stomach lining and gut uh, microbiome i've made a video some time ago about uh, low stomach acid and what to do about it i will link it in the description uh, box uh, check it out and if you haven't yet subscribe hit that notification bell send this video to anybody that is dealing with histamine intolerance and i will see you in my next video Bye.